Fun today, boys and girls. How you feeling? How you going, Rick? How you going, Rack? How you going, Sid? How you going, Sam? How you going, Yim? How you going, Yim? I feel all right today. I feel good. You know, a lot of you people out there in television, Lansky, going out there to those little vinyl-covered furniture where you live. You actually say, Stan, what is your purpose in broadcasting? Am I right, Chris? They're all like, what is your purpose? Is it to make millions? Is it to go on the Hollywood squares? Is it, for example, to become an autograph man, make millions, be with the limousines? I mean, being with the women in the limousines, is it, for example, to smoke those big cars? I mean, smoke those big cigars and drive around in those big cars. Boy, I'm sick today, friends. I don't know what it is. I don't feel good. Well, you know what it is? I had a heart-lung transplant the other night, and my donor was a mouse. That's the kind of stuff that makes you feel bad. Friends, I want to go back now into history to show you what my purpose in broadcasting is. And Harry, if you will, show this piece of videotape. This, more than anything else, tells you what my message is in broadcasting. You'll see it now, and you'll have no questions after this one. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, man makes history. A voyage to the bottom of the world's largest jello dessert. That's one step for man, one giant step for mankind. The action man is of great assistance. Chef Rudy Rose of the famous Bellotti's Forum in Green Bay has prepared 44 <coughs> gallons of lemon jello. And a television first. Man speaks from a jello dessert. This is Stanley Siegel on special assignment at the bottom of the largest jello bowl in the continental United States. That does not include Canada. We understand there's a tremendous gentleman up there in Winnipeg. Many people ask, why put your body at the bottom of the world's largest jello mold? And I say to them, it's none of their business. Uh, extricate myself. Uh, can someone help me with my mask? Uh, uh. I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, that if I live to be 120, I'll never do this again. Well, friends, there it is. That's my message, my hard hitting message for you. Thank you very much. That got me fired off that job, friends. It really did. Like the whole, see, I was the newsman, and they felt that destroyed the credibility of being in the news, if you understand what I mean. Hey, I want you to 